Here at the Hakanui Moonshine Museum, 40 more hug rugs done, oh yeah, hey, hey. It's a delicious day. 14 more you have done, it's delicious, it's so much fun, hey, hey. Can you spot your squares? Hey, 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 have a delicious day. Hey, 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 keep knitting away. Hey, 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 it's post box day. Did we get any mail? Ah, we've got a golden ticket. And another one, it's delicious. We have had the most sensational, amazing couple of weeks here in the knitting room, guys. Over here, we donated 55 blankets back up to the refugees in Dunedin. The Red Cross has sent back, have a look at this, two fish bins full of wool and 24 squares towards the cause. So the Red Cross have come on board and they were loving their blankets. So many visitors, it's been incredible. Mary here in Gore sent some polar fleece in. Then I got eight fantastic polar fleeces gifted from Dunedin from Paula, Sarah and Kristen. Thank you so much. Eight more can be done for our blankets. It is phenomenal. Dot in the mail, you never let me down. Nine more knitalicious squares from Dot. Thank you so much. Sarah of Tapanui, two more fantastic squares, a regular knitter to our donations. Sarah, you are a star. Then we have a new knitter here in Gore. Isabel has sent in six gorgeous new crocheted squares for the cause. Then Kerry, one of our regulars, gorgeous Kerry, has sent in four more crocheted beautiful squares and a shank of wool. Thank you so much, Kerry. That is phenomenal. Then we got a parcel from Invercargill. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I did a talk down at Rosary and they've sent me a thank you card and they've invited me to join their club. Unfortunately, the Nattery Knitter is too busy at the moment to do that, but I thank you for the offer. And through that, we have had Hi Caroline enclosed as cotton to help sew up the rugs. Happy sewing, all the very best and well done from Kay. So Kay and Invercargill has sent up some beautiful cottons to help with the project. So cotton, squares and polar fleece so far. Phenomenal, plus two massive fish bins full of wool. Then we get an international parcel in from Thailand, from Bangkok, the Ariana city. And it says, Dear Nattering Knitter, Hope this wool from Thailand is useful. Keep up the wonderful work. The bag is from a stool in the hill tribe of migrants and it's knitted. It's absolutely gorgeous. And do you know what I'm going to do with that? I'm going to put my business cards in that and have it with me. That is phenomenal. Now, these have come in from Kiss Kiss. Kiss Kiss has sent in squares in the past and Kiss Kiss is on holiday in Thailand. So thank you very, very much, Kiss Kiss. Then we had another brand new knitter come into the knitting room this week. Robin from Gore has sent in another eight beautiful squares and she's brand new. So that is phenomenal. Then I get a knock on the door, ladies and gentlemen, and we get... We have the pleasure of donating this box of wool for the knitters to help with your cause from Alison and Mary. There are 36 balls of knitalicious wool in here from Alison and Mary. And Mary is a Gore resident who is 92 years old, ladies and gentlemen, and has gifted this amazing gift. So Mary and Alison, I thank you very, very much. Then we got a parcel from Australia today in the post. And this, believe it or not, is wool from Wollongong. Oh my goodness. Dear Nattering Knitter, here is some wool from Australia. Mum and I watch your videos and I really want to come and see your knitting room. Mum said I can come to Gore when we're on holiday in New Zealand in three weeks and I might get to see your knitting room. Thank you for making blankets to keep people warm. You are very kind. Lots of love from Charlotte. Charlotte, it would be my absolute pleasure to have you in my knitting room and thank you for being so generous in sending in wool from Wollongong. That is phenomenal. Now, the last thing that happened this week, ladies and gentlemen, which was huge, was I went to the spinners and weavers and did a talk. Now, you will have seen 10 minutes of that talk on the blog last week. They gave us six shanks of wool during that talk they gave us 98 squares and four full blankets. The response from the ladies in that room was outstanding. They passed a bag around and they gifted money of $257.70 towards the Hugrow cause. 
So to the spinners and weavers of Gore, I have to thank you. The next lot of business cards have now been subsidised by you, so thank you. Plus there has been a lot of advertising done on newspaper and radio. Now the reason for that is the ladies offered help for the hug rug making, which is outstanding. So every week now on a Thursday at 111 Racecourse Road, Biddy's Barn is going to be open for the hug rug cause. All these Knitalicious squares are going to be there on a Thursday. You can come along and help join them into panels. You can polar fleece them or you can just simply sit and knit a square to show you care. We will be taking wool out so wool can be provided as well. So from 10 to 2.30 every Thursday the Nattery Knitter now has a hug rug band of helpers. Phenomenal, because I'm sitting in my knitting chair and I'm knitting here, yeah, why, because I really do care, today we're going over 3,000 squares and that's phenomenal, oh yeah, hey, hey, 206 rugs made, hey, 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 have a delicious day. Hi, it's Olivia here, and this week I am up to 13 Heavy squares um, and these three two purple and this and I ran out of wool so I just add a little bit of yellow onto that one and this pink one here came from a little girl in room 8 at Gourmet School so thank you very much for that and this week Natalie has taught me how to pearl knit so that's that <laughs> And yeah, it's all going very well.